Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. I hope you are having a happy 27th of June to you all. Um, I must admit this is a very late filming for me. Um, I'm going to use the same two pens I've been using for the last couple of days uh, because, quite frankly, it's warm. Uh, we have had 27, 28 degrees Celsius um, the last couple of days and just due to the UK climate, uh, UK houses, uh, they're more built for the cold. They're more built well, they're built to keep the heat in a little bit more. Um, and I will say that um, while I'm not sure actually if the weather app said that yesterday was supposed to be warmer than today, um, but today has definitely felt warmer. Now, whether that's just because of the heat rate retained from the day before or whether the temperature actually was warmer, I'm not quite sure because um, I didn't look until late on today, uh, about five o'clock this evening, and it was still saying it was 26 degrees, highs of like 27. So I am filming this at 10 o'clock at night the night before um, the night before the video needs to go up because there is no way I can film during the day at the moment. It has just been far too hot. Um, according to the weather, it is supposed to drop to about 19 tomorrow, um, which to me is actually sounds rather nice. Um, and it can stick around that maybe for the rest of the summer. Uh, but we shall see what that feels like tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, this is actually probably the one of the only whip and waffles that I'm kind of hoping is a mini speedy one. Um, just purely because of the heat. It still feels so, so warm. Uh, we're not due a thunderstorm or anything to clear the air. So it's not like we're going to get rid of any mugginess that way. Uh, but yeah, otherwise it's it's been a nice day. It's I've still been able to potter around. I've still been able to sort of get stuff done, albeit at a slower pace. And I think that's the key thing is I've just had to slow the pace for everything a little bit more, which I'm not always used to. Um, I'm not used to having to slow things down. <laughs> but, you know, you deal with what you've got at the time, don't you? Um, but yeah, it's just making these whip and waffles during the day, which is when I have been doing them, uh, and has been working organisation wise, uh, go a bit pear-shaped. I very nearly did this whip and waffle first thing this morning. Uh, I opened up the craft room and I was like, oh, it's quite cool in there. I will, um, I will do the whip and waffle and then it's done. Um, then I had to sort of just pop the washing out um, that had already been done and stuff like that, thinking, OK, let's just do that before I go do the waffle. And in that time, the craft room had got too warm. So what that did was that resulted in, because my brain had gone, I will do the waffle and then I will upload both videos, so the one for yesterday um, and today's whip and waffle at the same time. So when the room became too warm and I decided not to, uh, my brain promptly forgot that it needed to upload yesterday's whip and waffle. Uh, and I remembered as I was 
getting yesterday's orders into the post bags for the postie to collect. So yesterday's Whiff and Waffle went up late and then to add to it, somehow, don't know whether to blame the software or myself, um, it's probably me, um, I managed to, um, the Whip and Waffle for yesterday was a longer one, uh, but it filmed in two sections on my camera. So two sections before it had to save the footage and I had to restart it again. And uh, it managed to put them back to front. So I did have a few comments on that video asking me uh, why I started mid-conversation. Uh, some people, of course, thought it had ended early uh, because I said goodbye to you all, even though there was the remaining there was the remaining uh, rest of the video still to go. Uh, and then, of course, partway through, I would have said hello and started the video. So, uh, yeah, we're having we're having that kind of day today. I hope, hopefully, that explains the kind of day I'm having. Uh, I'm just topping up my putty. Uh, I'm hoping just to top up is enough. I've literally just grabbed the edges off the side of it. <coughs> just to top that up because I've got quite a lot of multi-placing um, on today's. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, that's that's how my day is going. Anyway, I have re-sorted the video uh, because I hadn't got rid of the footage yet off my computer. So I resorted it into the correct order for the video. Uh, I re-uploaded it and then I just unlisted the original one, which hopefully won't have kicked anybody off the video if they were already mid-watching it. Uh, but anybody who came to watch the video at a slightly later time should have it in the correct order. Um, by also marking the video as unlisted, then any comments that I haven't replied to, which uh, the ones I've replied to are primarily telling people, oopsie, I've fixed it now, um, are still in my comments section. So if you left a comment on the video from the 26th and it was the awkward one, with everything a jumble, uh, and you think your comments disappeared, it's not. Um, you just can't see it unless you have the original link to the video, um, because I've just hidden it. Um, so yeah, but you know, it could be August by the time we get to those comments anyway, the rate I'm going. But yeah. How's your June going, everybody? <laughs> Hopefully it's going well. Mine is being taken with a pinch of salt, I think. Um, yeah, there's not big dramas. There's just the odd little dramas. Um, just little, little niggly ones. Uh, but nothing major, nothing catastrophic. Just, you know, too warm. Too many mistakes being made, primarily by me. Uh, no water for a period of time. A battle with my washing, but you know, all those things can happen at other times of the year as well, so it's all good. Speaking of comments, etc., I'm going to go on to comments, uh, questions, and all the rest because I do have a lot of multi-place in here so I do expect this to be quite quick which I say with this heat I think I'm just going to be thankful for the fact that it's a quicker section um, and maybe we can we'll have one that will take a little bit more time tomorrow um, 
depending on it might oh that's tomorrow so yeah we might have a bit more bittiness in there for a while uh, but Grey Legrand, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says, it is taking you no time uh, to finish your sections. She said, maybe you should only single place, she says, or get a bigger canvas. <laughs> yes, my June waffles are supposed to be quicker. They originally were about half an hour. That was about how long it was. Um, half an hour each day um, and that sort of was an ideal time just to get a bit done though I suppose if when you're used to the odd whip and waffle that is an hour or two hours I suppose having ones that are just half an hour feel like you've been shorted a bit even if you do get them every day I can understand how it kind of feels like that uh, but yeah I just don't have the time I just do not have the time sometimes it can be hard even getting the one in especially like today when it has just been too hot and just the thought of boxing myself into a room um, that gets warmer over time with me in it talking and the door shut I just couldn't do it I just could not do it. I have spent so much time just this evening, even just sat in the garden, in the garden chairs, because at least then I'll get some of the breeze. Uh, and it's just that little bit cooler. Um, and I think the only thing that has got me in here now at 10 o'clock at night is telling myself that it's only half an hour to 45 minutes. That's what I have kept telling myself. It's 45 minutes. It's 45 minutes. You can do it. You can do it. And then you can go and sit back outside for a bit. And then hopefully you can actually sleep this evening. Though we shall see on that front. But anyway, it's all good. Um, Liz, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she hopes that the water issues have all been sorted out, which they have. Thank you. We're all good. Uh, she said you and your family managed to get hot showers uh, and some washing done. Yes, I did actually. Uh, I put two loads out today and then I turned around to Gavin and I said, I'm done. It is staying out there until it's cooled down and I didn't bring it in until about seven o'clock. I was like, I just don't want to be out in the direct heat. Um, the little patio outside our conservatory actually gets covered uh, by the sun by about three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it gets all the shadow from the house uh, and I love it when that happens because I can just sit out there and get the breeze but I'm in a constant shade and it's nowhere near as hot um, but the rest of the garden gets the heat so I just avoid the rest of the garden and just sit down in my bottom bit um, but yes I think I pretty much washing wise now I've probably got two or three loads from the kids upstairs um, I know I emptied mine and hubby's today and I did some of the kids from two days ago. Um, I basically switched an empty washing basket and took their full one. So I'm expecting one, maybe two loads from them. Uh, and that's primarily because it has also been warm. So um, no doubt they've been changing specifically tops and things a lot a lot more than maybe they would they might get a couple of days out of a t-shirt but when it's this hot nah so yeah if I do another couple of loads tomorrow uh, put them out fill up my line and then leave them alone until the weather's cooled down uh, I should be on top of it all um, so that's good. I've also got a couple more, a couple of things in the wash 
you know, that don't get washed quite as often. I've got through a few of those bits as well, sort of extra little things. So, yeah, it's looking like, yeah, we're probably due rain because normally I get through my washing. I think, great, I can start doing one load a day uh, and then it rains and it all backs up again. Uh, because once I've been able to put my maiden away, it takes a lot for me to want to get it back out again. <laughs> it's the way my brain works. Uh, anyway, she says she got her section finished around the same time um, as me today. She said the picture's looking stunning. Uh, she said she's so tempted to get the picture herself. Uh, but it's currently out of stock with Diamond Art Club. So she said she uh, believes she'll just have to be patient. Uh, she says she's just, just kitted up and started on Witch's Flower Shop uh, by Mrs. Butter D from Diamond Art Club. She said it's 50.7 by 70.6 centimetres and it has 64 colours. Uh, and it's round drills. Uh, so she has another kit to work alongside her June waffle canvas. It's always nice to have a second one, especially if you do get to diamond paint more. Um, I did expect to diamond paint a bit more, um, but I think it's just, I've just been distracted by either too busy, um, too busy in the day, to think about doing something, or there has been a couple of nights I've been a little bit eager to get on with my quilting. But I know it will end up dying down, though having said that, um, a hubby mentioned something about my quilt today and said, oh, oh, it's really nice and it'll be nice to snuggle up under when it's cold. Uh, and yeah, I just turned around to him and said, uh, this is my quilt, I'll make you one. <laughs> Get your mitts off my quilt. When it gets to the UK winter, I will want to tuck, tuck myself in to the quilt fully and that. And it's not the size for sharing uh, and I'm not making it bigger because actually quilting a bigger quilt um, it's not something I fancy doing. Sticking to what they call sort of lap size quilts, uh, which is very similar, a little bit shorter than like a single bed in the UK. So uh, a bit wider than a single bed, but a little bit shorter than a single bed seems to be about the measurement for a lap quilt. Um, and yeah, it seems a nice, decent size, to be honest, to me. So I think I'll either be making those or um, cot size quilts uh, for my nephews because they are tiny. Uh, well, my great nephews, should I say. Uh, one is a baby and one is two. Uh, so if I end up making those, them two, one as well, then they will be even smaller. Um, Lady Dax, she says, oh my, she says, how to win friends and new neighbours. She says, not. <laughs> uh, she says, she liked others, she said, would have been round there banging on their door. She said she hopes it's all sorted now. To be honest, if I'd have known that they were the cause of the water going off, then yes, I would have been round there going, sort yourselves out, get that water back on now. Um, you know, you are entitled and all the rest of it. The thing is, I didn't know who it was that had turned the water off until the water board had come out because we had no water uh, and it was the investigator for the water board that established who it was and by then we had water back. We had water back and we had 
a potential fix for the water pressure or at least what we thought was going to be the potential fix at the beginning for the water pressure um that was all put into place and wasn't something that silly neighbor could do anything about um to undo so that is the primary reason that it you know it was just like oh it's past the point of going and shouting at the neighbors uh, she says she's like me and that she has to have her space clear uh, if she has various jobs to do. Uh, she says she just can't think straight in chaos. Yes, Megan can work in chaos and I don't know why. Maybe it's because she also causes chaos. So sometimes when I'm trying to do something with Megan and Megan's just like, right, let's get it done, 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 done. And I'm just like, no, hang on. I can't get this done because this is a mess. So it can be entertaining. So even if we tend to be working on the same thing, um, we tend to work on different aspects of the same thing. So that I can do it in my organised way and she can do it in a chaotic way. <laughs> she said, time seems to be flying by. She says, um, before you know it, uh, when you know that there is more time behind you than in front, she says, uh, it can feel quite scary. She says, so she says to um, make the most of every day. That is true. That is true. Enjoy each day for what it is. Yes, today has been what I call cooking, um, but it has meant that I've had a slower day, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Nothing has fallen apart due to it. Um, so it's all good. It all work out in the end. Um, Ali Cat says she's finally got caught up again. That was on the 12th. Uh, she said because Hubby have gone, has gone fishing for the day. Ah, I have to kick him out every day in June. Every possible day to kick him out in June. Kick him out. <laughs> Go fishing, love. See you later. It's June. <laughs> See you later. Don't come home till late. <laughs> Uh, mysterious days she says uh, instead of diamond painting today she is kitting down um, Hugo Haig uh, she said it turned out absolutely beautiful the green eyes and the butterfly she said are simply enchanting uh, she said this one she may frame and hang up eventually um, she says, but other than that, she said, today has been a day. That's one way to put it. It's been a day. Um, she says she woke up in a bad mood. Uh, and then on top of that, she said she had to clean and ended up soaking the bottom of her pyjama pants uh, because she stepped in her cat's water bowl. Sounds like you needed to go back bed quicker than... Uh, quite shortly after you got out of it. Uh, she says her coffee even tastes subpar. Sub she says she's hope that a lot are having a better day than she is. Well, just to confirm, we all have bad days. We really do. And sometimes you just need to roll with them, depending on the level of bad. Um, the more annoying bad things that happen, Sometimes you just have to take a minute and just go, right, I need to reset. I need to find something that I can watch or listen to that will make me laugh uh, and try and turn the day around. Or think, do you know what? It's a bad day anyway. Let's do this bad job that I've been putting off for ages because the day's rubbish anyway and I'm going to be miserable doing this job so let's just be miserable anyway uh, and then you will feel so much better the day after partly because your mood will be gone and partly because that big bad job will be gone as well 
you know, if we're going to punish ourselves for having a bad day, sometimes it is just worth doing the whole hog punishment on a bad day and getting rid of bad jobs too. Um, Ali Cat, she said, it sounds like I need to take a long, relaxing, hot bubble bath, she says, once all the water issues get sorted out. Yes, luckily I did still get to have a hot bath uh, a couple of times while this low pressure was thing was going on. Uh, the only thing is most people in the house were also having a bath. Um, because while it was sorry, uh, while it was low pressure and therefore it wasn't coming out fast enough to go through the electric shower. Uh, we have a hot water tank in the loft or the attic, depending on what you want to call it, um, which fills up and then heats up the hot water. So when the pressure was low, uh, because it was also intermittent, so sometimes, I say, if a lot of people in the street were using water, it would come out like a slow trickle. Uh, and other times it would come out not as fast as normal, but still, you know, fast enough you know when you go to fill a rinse something out maybe and you don't turn the tap on full strength well it was like that with our tap being on full strength um so the hot water tank did still fill up it just took a little bit longer um and then it would sit there until we were ready to use it so i did get a couple of i did get my bath which was good uh, Doro, be pumped. Uh, she said, oh dear, she says you've had enough chaos around your house for a while. She says uh, she can imagine that such incidents occur when you don't need them. Yes, they often are when you don't need them. But I say, I think it was one of those nothing, even though it was busy and it was chaotic, nothing was urgent or life threatening which is, I think, why it was easier to cope with. Uh, she said, in the last few weeks, she says, we've always had building sites uh, and small holes in their car park in front of the office, she said, due to faults um, in the glass fibre uh, for fast internet. Uh, so you couldn't park or you had to look for a parking space between barricades uh, she says hopefully they've fixed the leak in your water system quickly she says so that the water can be used normally again she says uh, nothing worse than not having enough water pressure under the shower <laughs> that's for sure uh, she said have a wonderful day uh, and she's looking forward to the upcoming waffles well thank you I say it's just been one of those little humps in the way for um, the month of June but hey hopefully this all means that we are up for the most fabulous July known to man but anyway today may not have worked in favour of you guys uh, but if you could feel how hot and muggy it is in here um, you would understand it a lot more I know that um, 30, well, 26, 27 degrees, which is what it got inside earlier, um, is not necessarily hot for most. Um, but the UK heat is definitely different to some other countries' heat. Uh, and believe me, it is muggy. <laughs> muggy is the word for it at the moment. But anyway, today's section is done. It is supposed to cool down tomorrow um, for us, which hopefully will mean things are a lot calmer over this side. <laughs> But anyway, we still have three more days to go. Uh, so do tune in for tomorrow's Whip and Waffle where we get section 28 done. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all tomorrow. <laughs>